Så har varit viss gujenk. Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Low Heat and today we're looking at the brand new version of Contact. The world's leading sampling platform has been updated to version 7 and while it comes out as a standalone product in the beginning of October, you can already get it as part of Complete 14. So the highlights of this update are the brand new browser that makes it a lot faster and easier to find instruments and presets. It's resizable, it has sound previews and you can filter presets by categories. You can now also add non-official third-party libraries to the browser. And perhaps the most useful and exciting update is the newly updated instrument library, Contact Factory Library 2, which adds a lot of new content, brand new collections, like the orchestra library and some newly recorded sounds for existing presets from the previous library. Now, some people may be disappointed that the actual instrument creation interface hasn't been updated. And while it can definitely benefit from an update to make it resizable and make it bigger on high resolution screens, I can sort of understand why native instruments have focused on the factory library and the browsing experience for this release. This seems to be an update focused on the end user and the way I see it, Contact isn't really the quick sampler that you pull up while you're making music and quickly load up a sample into it and use it on the spot. For this purpose, I always reach for Ableton's Simpler and every DAW has their own version of such a quick and dirty sampler. So the interface in question seems to be used more by instrument library creators to meticulously craft playable instruments. And for them, this update adds some new effects and some small under the hood changes to the audio engine, but not much else. But overall, the updated library is awesome and very useful to cover all bases for the sounds that you may need. And while these are not the insanely detailed, hyper-realistic, multi-gigabyte instruments, they are extremely usable and sound very nice. Not everyone needs an 80 gigabyte orchestral library, but it's good to have a variety of quality sounds at your disposal. And that library covers everything from synths to drums, to exotic instruments, to bread and butter, piano, strings, acoustic instruments, etc. And so first we're gonna take a quick look at the browser and the library, and then I'm gonna make a beat using only sounds from the new Contact Factory Library 2. And so when you open Contact, you click on this icon up here and it opens the new content browser. As you can see, it is resizable and pretty nice. And of course, you can look among the other contact libraries that you have installed as well, not only the factory library too. And when we click on the contact section, here are the new banks. We've got acoustic, band beats, choir, orchestral, synths and vintage. And we can filter by sound type and character. So for example, let's say we're looking at we're looking for a synth bass, you can click on bass, click on synth, and then you have only the synth basses in the list here to the right. Or for example, if you want to look at pianos, you click on the piano keys. For example, we can look for electric pianos and then we have all the electric pianos that are available in the new Contact Factory library. So the names are the same as the ones that we had on the previous Contact Factory library, but they are better sounding, they are improved and they are very, very usable. And so for example, if you want to load a sound, double click on that sound and then it's loaded with this brand new, nice and shiny user interface with some macro controls down here. We also have an effect section with some pretty nice sounding effects. And then on this section, you can customize some things like tuning, transposition, pitch bend range, velocity, and so on. So again, this sounds pretty nice. And so if you've used contact before, you know that if you load a new pre preset while well, you have a preset loaded, it loads it below the previous preset on a new MIDI channel. Let's go to the acoustic bank and load up some exotic instruments. <laughs> 
double click on this one and as you see it appears again with some fancy and shiny brand new interface the thing that confuses some people is that it's loaded on a new midi channel so if you play our keyboard it still plays the Rhodes piano that I had loaded up here. So as you can see, this one is on MIDI channel two. So what we can do is just remove the piano and just set it to MIDI channel one. Or you can just remove it before loading a new preset so that you don't need to mess around with the MIDI channels. By the way, if you're enjoying the video and you want to support the channel, hit that like button down there, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And if you plan on purchasing Complete 14 or Contact 7 anyway, you can do it from the link down in the description of the video. And it's an affiliate link that helps support the channel as well. So let's check out these sounds in action in a beat making session. Okay, so I'm starting with the power kit from the space category. Pretty distorted kit, has some effect to it. Let's record a drum pattern. Just gonna overdo it with the tambourine. And for the chord progression, I've loaded the Mark I suitcase electric piano from the band category. Pretty similar to the one that we had in the old contact library, it's been improved a bit as far as I can tell. Okay, cool. For the bass, we got the loaded tube bass from the vintage category. this across the Pacific synth string type of thing. I want to double the electric piano chords. I'm just going to copy the chords to the track with the strings. I'm going to edit the MIDI though. So I'm going to go and remove the sustained pedal that I recorded in order to have a cleaner sound. I'm just going to edit the MIDI a bit so it sounds the way I like it. So I loaded this guzheng, uh, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, seems to be a Chinese instrument. From the acoustic library, let's record something with this one.
also got this Mellotron female choir, again a vintage instrument from the new library. I've modified the preset a bit, added some more delay and convolution reverb. And finally, this mini lead number five, a vintage lead synth. Gonna add some delay and the super nice sounding convolution reverb to this one. So that's pretty much it, hope you enjoyed the video guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.